Welcome to Set Filter or Set Range, what to use and when. Hey, I'm Eric, and um, something that I have noticed you know, for decades are confusion around how to set a filter, something that's actually pretty easy, and there's even a command called Set Filter. But there's also a command called Set Range, and what is a filter and what is a range, and when to use what command. Um, and um, this can actually be the root of some very weird box uh, that doesn't really show up until suddenly they do. Um, so I thought, let me, let me do a video on what's the difference between the two and when to use what. Um, so we might as well get started. I have a Visual Studio Code project up and running. So let's create a variable we can play with. How about we do a GL ledger entry? There we go. So um, let me. So so let's do a filter on posting date. And I could do a filter on posting date here, like that. That's perfect. This will work. Uh, we are setting a filter on the fifth of fifth, or however that is uh, noted. This will work. I could even uh, do this a little better um, because I could uh, I could perhaps have the date here. And say okay, the date is actually, and then I'm just going to do a date constant. So we have the now we know we have a date variable for the valid date. So I could do deal set filter posting date, and then I'll do format date. This works well too, but we can actually do even better. So we can do deal set filter again posting date. And then we can do a substitution rule and say D will substitute into the string here. But there's one more. So now we have actually used set filter three, th three times, and but there, there's not four times that one, but there is the set range. So in this case, we'll do posting date again and we'll pass the date into it. So now we have four different ways of setting the same filter. Um, so which one are good and which one are bad? But let, let's start with the first one. So this is bad. Um, this is bad on a lot of different levels. This is bad from the aspect of us not really knowing if the month or day are first in this case. Um, this is bad from the the next level is that there's no validation of this um, uh, when we compile it. So I could I could do this and this compiles just as well as whenever we as as this thing do um, so this is bad how about this one well this one is slightly better because at least format will make sure that our date will be formatted in whatever format the system thinks we're working in so in this case this is only you know semi bad but it's still not let's say semi bad here, <laughs> but but uh, I'll I'll show you in a minute why this is perhaps still very very bad. This one is you know this is not bad. So we pass the type in. So so let's create another thing here. So let's create D two, which is a decimal. Uh, we'll give that a value. You know, but just to mess with everybody, we'll give it that value. Or will we? Or is this? Oh, sorry, D2. There we go. <laughs> um, so, you see, this one, let's pass D2 into this one instead. This works. 
So, so there's no compile error coming up here because we're just creating a string. So we're passing in anything goes into the string. The same as we did up here. So um, let's let's actually see what happens if we run this at this point. Let's see what happens. We got a, a breakpoint, and let's take a look at our local variables here. We'll go with this one, we'll make this bigger. GL, we don't know anything about. So this one is passing. So now GL has a filter on posting day. So this is good. Let's see what's happened now. Uh oh, I think we just hit an error. Saying that 20, 220, 505 does not match your device date setting. Make sure that the date month year, blah, 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 is correct. Um, so this one will give you a runtime error, not a compile error. Um, but let's actually make it even, you know, so here, here's another one. Let, let's make this even more. Let's make D3, make that a time. So D3 is, well, we can just give it a, uh, a random time. Let's see if what happens if it, no, okay, so so okay. Let me let me actually we'll, we'll just forget about the the variable because that will, will not work in this case. But but let's do something up here and say that the time is is ten minutes, or maybe it's twenty two, twenty two, twenty two, right? That's the time. No, not twenty two, twenty two. Man, I'm I'm slow tonight. Let's do twelve, twelve, twenty two. That's clearly a time. It has colons between them. Let's see what happens here. We got our breakpoint. We'll take a look at the variable, GL. Okay, did you see that? We did not get a uh, an error here. No, the time was actually passed as a date and so now we used a something with colons and that got passed uh passed as as a uh, as a date and and is now a date filter so i think i think i proved my point that you know when you end up in passing in a string to set filter. The content of the string is runtime evaluated. Uh, so then we, we get to this guy down here. And now we're setting a, we're passing an actual variable, but let's pass D2 here and see what happens. Now we cannot compile. We got a problem, right? We cannot convert, so argument three cannot convert from decimal to the type of argument one. Meaning that now this one looks at this guy and say, okay, that's a date field. So the type data type of whatever you, you substitute with has to have the same type as the field you're setting the filter on. Um, so that is pretty cool. Um, but, and this goes to, I guess, the, the rule, if we, we can say something like that, that it's the same thing that happens here on set range. So I, I pass a D2, we get, uh, get the exact same error, cannot convert from decimal to the type of argument one, date. Um, so if we're going to create a rule of this. 
Um, so, uh, um, actually, before let me let me do one more here. So let's say we want to work with a range. So now let's you know turn D two in to a date and say twenty twenty two six six D for something like that. Um, then we could do. Well, up here it it you know it gets funky because we'll have to do five five twenty two dot dot six six twenty two and here we'll have to do format d plus dot dot plus format d two um, in this one it's it's slightly easier we'll do percent one dot dot percent two and then we'll pass d two here let me actually move this over here so we can see it but in the last one we'll just pass both of them so the rule <laughs> the rule is you know always use set range you get the cleanest syntax you get all the type checking done at runtime uh, for single field for ranges so either with one parameter or two parameter if you need something more than that you go one up the step here to the set filter with substitution uh, and maybe it's because you need to do this maybe we have multiple so you 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 need to search for for three different dates here so you're passing three dates now but you're still using the substitution uh, in this case this is the only way to set this filter proper you cannot do it with set range you have to do it with substitutions um, never do this and never never do this uh, um, and and even so so but eric you said but hang on here now you have conveniently chosen dates as the data type but what if it's strings then what it, why can i just use this for strings well the thing is let's so, so let's let's just talk about strings for a second so we will do t1 just so i got something to work with you want three those all text right so let's do gl set set filter on um, on description and we will we'll do t1 here so what if your data type changes so for some reason you the customer or something like that, we need to you know break something so so we got a field that changes type so you know now for some reason description is no longer a text description is is a date so i'll just change this back to to, to uh come on pissing date no Shh. posting date uh if i'm allowed to do that posting date right so now for some reason the 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 field type changed but you won't get a compiler error here your users will at some point maybe get a runtime error but if we were in the substitution here and we say okay just you know even the simple substitution saying this one then we're still passing a string here this works but if we're passing a date we will get the error so by forcing us to never use these two always use either those but preferable set range if that's possible if the filter is more complex than a set range can do then you go to substitutions um, but by reusing stuff substitution you ensure that you will get a compiler time type checking uh, of your filter values and thereby greatly reduce the amount of random errors your users might run into.
So there's no question, set range, unless you need a more complex filter, then you go set filter with substitutions and you never do the other ones. Uh, and if you do, I would love to hear that down in, in the comments below why and what cases you feel the need for that. Um, I know there are some cases where you truly on runtime build up filters as, as a string, but if you do that in code, you have ample opportunity to uh, to, to type check how you build your filters. So I, I, I don't really think that's an actual issue. Anyway, uh, when you're done yelling at me in the comments, uh, Go watch this one because that's also a very good video and I'll see you there. Take care. Bye.